Yeah. My name is Maddie Rodriguez and I'm a new research analyst at OceanX. We're steaming up from Miami. This mission is so exciting because it's totally groundbreaking. Today was an interview at WLRN. I'm talking with Dr. Vincent Perribone. He's the vice chairman of OceanX. Starting today, they're going to be launching this new mission. It's called Saving America's Great Barrier Reef. A high-intensity, multidisciplinary study from one end to the other. We're headed to uh, zone eight of our scientific survey. We are hoping to see really nice, healthy reefs because these are the farthest away from the human impact sites. And Yo, Sam. This is crazy. <laughs> At the heart of OceanX is exactly that concept, is that the science done alone gets to the scientific community and has impact and it's important. But unless it gets out to the greater public. Yeah. That was straight up the coolest thing I've ever seen. You're like, beaming. Do you think we can restore them? It's a battle we just cannot give up on. I guarantee everybody wants that back. We want the fish back, we want the reefs back. I, we should not give up hope for that. Follow along on their social media at OceanX. <laughs> this is crazy. We're near very healthy reefs. So there's just a lot of stuff living out here. So it's just coming out. We're basically watching an entire ecosystem right now. So what you can see around the lights here are is this cluster of what look like tiny specks in the water, but those specks are actually living things. And so what you see are these creatures called uh, zooplankton. Um, and these are little living beings that come up to the surface waters at the same time every night, all collectively. And so what happens is that all of these tiny living things together, their total biomass all over the world makes up the largest migration per day in the entire world. And so they rise to the surface at night, scientists think, to avoid predators that hunt by sight. So we're seeing fish come up and feed on these little zooplankton. And then we're seeing sharks feed on those fish, and then we're seeing dolphins actually come in and collectively hunt together to feed on those fish as well. We've also seen birds. And squid and pipefish. Yeah, squid, pipefish. The whole food chain watching. in action. I've been working on, on boats for seven years, and this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Dolphins, sharks, and turtles together, and the feeding frenzy like this, it's pretty, pretty special.